Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a quick unboxing and I'm actually only doing it because it is a small business. Small businesses are really struggling at the moment. I mean, all businesses are really struggling at the moment because of coronavirus um, and just in general, like getting themselves out there. There is a lot of competition because more and more brands are moving on to social and digital channels that maybe were more high street orientated prior to the pandemic. Um, so whenever you find something that you really like from a small brand, it's really important that you do what you can to big them up. So I have gone ahead and placed an order from a brand called Chloe Couture and I'm going to show you how it appears. Just covering my address, excuse my missing nail, so sorry. So it's in this pretty pink box, which unfortunately did not fare very well in the post. Um, but generally really cute, some nice branding on there, which I quite like. And when I open it up, this I can show you really easily, it's got... <laughs> A bit of her branding in the inside here, just saying thank you for the order. I'm um, showing some of the stuff that she does. A little thank you card, which is so cute. Um, and it's personalized. So it actually says, you know, Stephanie, thanks so much for your order. I hope you love your new accessories. Stay safe. Um, it is accessories that I've ordered from her. I definitely don't need any new clothes. Um, feeling lucky. Here's a little treat on me. You deserve it. Scratch for a surprise. So. Do I do that first or last? Let's just do that just now, will we? So I'm just going to go ahead and scratch it on the thing. Interesting. So I'm struggling to scratch it off, but I'm doing it with just my nails. So, oh, that's cute. I'm assuming this is with the next order. Contact me to redeem your prize. It says a scrunchie of your choice. Um... It doesn't say that you have to place a new order for it, so it might be something that she just sends me. I'll definitely update you guys and let you know. Um, but you'll see why I'm still excited about that because inside here, so this is a lovely branding again. I'm just gonna lift this. I waited to open this with you guys, so I hope you appreciate that. My patience, because um, I just wanted to rip it open as soon as it arrived. I love that it's pink wrapping paper. I can't do this. <laughs> I don't want to rip it. I'm just so, it's gonna rip anyways, isn't it? Yeah, it rips, whatever. I wish that wrapping paper wouldn't rip. So inside I've got another little wrapped and then I've got this. So this is one little set here um, and I ordered this, this was six pounds and it is a matching scrunchie and face mask. How do I do this? How do I know which way? Oh, oh, perfect. Does it go both ways? Am I being dumb? Yeah, it literally works both ways. Oh, she's a wee bit big. A teeny teeny wee bit big, but not too bad. It'll definitely stay on. And then I'm gonna have my hair up in my cute little scrunchie and it's so, so Scottish. I love that it's like a tartan. Um, so I had to have this. And how cute, I'm about to drop this. How cute is this? says Dior, so when you're trying to be all fancy, but protected, and it's a sort of satiny finish. It's good space as well, so there's a bit of space in here, but it's not above or below, so you're not feeling like it's gonna be like a problem, like if you sneeze, it's still gonna get caught in this, but you've got room to breathe. I don't know how many masks people have tried, but I've tried quite a few, and if the ones that are flat to my face, I find like get underneath my nose and cover my mouth. It just gets covered in my lipstick and I really struggle to breathe in them. I get really warm. So a bit of space is definitely preferred. Um, and now that little mask, I'll show you why I was excited about the mask as well. So I just came across her on Facebook. It was, she did a promotion, you could win a prize. And I just liked some of the stuff she had so much. I was like, I'm not actually waiting to see if I won. And this is why it's so cute, look. So this, is a set with this um, and I'd actually contacted her specifically she didn't have these on the site and I contacted her and said would it be possible to do them and she was actually working on them at that point so I'm just gonna look adored that's it that's the plan um, but it was a set of four I got and I think for the four it was 16 um, and the other ones that are in here so I've got this little sort of Gucci print one um, this one here, which is like a Louis Vuitton sort of style in the pink and a little Fendi style one as well. Obviously these are designer inspired. Um, if I'm going to give any critique, so the stretch seems quite good. It's going to be perfect for a one 
rather than having to twist it around which is ideal because obviously with the scrunchie you want the maximum amount of like the ruffling around your hair just for it to have like a bolder impact and this is obviously not one that you're wearing because you want it to be hidden or to just hold your hair but I'm not a huge fan of this stitching um, it is white stitching on all of them so that would be my constructive criticism it is very well stitched and she actually prints the fabrics herself the stitching on the masks is absolutely superb to be perfectly honest teeny wee bit of overlap but you would need that in order for it to like fit on faces so when it's on you don't really see that um so it's actually perfect on this but just because like with this it's again it's the white string it fits in with everything else this it really stands out on so it would be ideal and i'm sure it'll be something she'll end up changing and working on like as she grows um but that is then something that I'm going to have to hide at the bottom of my hair or I'm not even entirely sure. I might, I might unpick it because it is a full stitching as well. So it's quite structured or I could pin it down so that you can't see it like that. And that would be grand. But yeah, I think these are gorgeous. I'm so glad that they've arrived. I can't wait to wear them so it means you'll get to see me with straight hair very soon because I don't tend to put my hair up in a ponytail when it's curly I only tend to do it when it's straight um, so I'll definitely be doing a bit more straight hair looks which always makes me feel a bit more um, put together and glam anyway which is probably a bad thing but just like through school we always had our hair perfectly straight I didn't really embrace my curls so it's a completely different feeling I get when I've got my hair all straightened I am excited to wear these. Where did the pink one go? I'm doing, oh, I've thrown it on the floor, but I'm just chuffed. I like this fabric as well. Loads more of this one than the satiny one. Um, so this is going to be super bold. I'm just going to like, it's so cute. Living my best scrunchy life. Um, I will link her brand down below. So if you're interested in placing a wee order and supporting a small business, please go ahead and do so. Um, I don't have any benefit of you having placed an order and I don't need you to let her know that you found her through me or anything like that. You can just go ahead and buy whatever it is you're particularly interested in. Highly recommend these mask sets. I just love it. There is a pink one with hearts that I was really interested in too. So if you get any of those, definitely link me down below. If you've got any pictures of them up, even on your Instagram, any pictures that you wear, and it would be stunning. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Any comments, feedback, questions, leave them down below. You know where to put them. Um, and if you haven't already and you don't mind, then please hit the subscribe button down below as well. That way you'll be notified whenever I make any new content. Thanks very much for watching. Have a lovely day.